एवरीवन थैंक्स फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन माई चैनल डेट एंड नाटशल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट डायनेमिक डेट रेंज फीचर विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्वेरी फॉर्मूला एंड प्रेजेंट द व्यूअर एज पर द डेट रेंज सेलेक्टेड सो इन दिस केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव डेटा इन माई डेटा टैब दिस टैब ओके एंड वी हैव डेट कॉलम इन दिस डेटा सेट एंड वी हैव अदर कॉलम्स सो नाउ द सिचुएशन इज इन द सैम्पल टैब I have these two options for the date date range selection for the user, and I want to populate the data as per these date range, right? So, for example, I want data which is greater than equals to eleventh of November and less than equals to eighth of December two thousand twenty-two. So, let's learn how to do that. So, I'll go and write equals to query, and I'll just go to data tab. Select the entire data. Okay. Then put a comma. Then double quotes. Then write select and place star in this. Then double quotes and bracket close. Cool. So in this case, because of this star, right? This star means I want complete data, right? I want all the columns in the data set so in this data set we have these columns six columns and i want all the six columns with all the rows in the total number of rows are 21 and in the data set also total number of rows are 21 now i want to make this formula dependent on these two dates so what i'm going to write i want all the columns okay but where a a means the column which contains the date that's why i'm writing a right in this data set the dates are in the a column so i'll just write where a is greater than equals to then i'm going to write date okay then single quote and then after double quotes i'll just put two and ampersand then again double quote single quote double quote so this is the combination that you are going to use or you can say you are going to tackle the date range references right so now i'm going to reference this particular cell in between these two ampersand sign so i will place my cursor here and then select this okay and this and just just and i will press enter again go to the formula then go to this a3 and put that in bracket and before a3 just write text and after a3 put comma then double quotes y y y y dash mm dash dd then double quotes close okay so because of this formula right this text formula it will handle the data in this particular cell as a date i'll just press enter and you can see i am getting data as per this cell 11th of november 2022 but now i want to reference this particular cell as well this particular date range as well right so i'll go here and after single quote right i'll put a space then i'll write and then again i'm going to write a less than equals to then again date single quote and after double quote two ampersand sign then double quotes single quote double quote and in between these two ampersand sign i'm going to reference this and place that value inside the brackets and write text before the first bracket then after b3 put comma then double quotes y y y y dash mm dash dd then double quotes and i'll just press enter and see the data is coming as per these two date ranges so if i go and try to change the date range the data will change similarly if i go and try to expand the date range from this this is what we will get i hope you understood the concept do let me know if you have any doubts in the query formula this is very useful and powerful formula i hope you will use it thanks for watching